how are you doing? Um, I called, I think it was yesterday, about getting a knock of office. They said they were going to put it in the drop box somewhere in the front. I don't know. They, uh, they were going to drop off the paperwork and, on a drop box. And I called yesterday about getting a knock of office, but I don't know what they meant by coming and picking it up at the drop box. What office are you talking about? I think county it was in the county clerks. The clerk? Yeah. That's that's what I was thinking. I've I've heard of dropping in for myself. But. Okay, thank you very much. I can breathe. I know. <laughs> oh, look at this making an appearance in there. Like, hey, we're calling in oh, commission statement. We're taking over this government building. <laughs> County Recordings Office. Hello, ma'am. Hi, yes. I called in, I think it was yesterday, they said I called in for an oath of office for Mary Rosner, and I think and they Anne said Schultz. something about Ann Schultz, yes. Okay. Yeah. Let's see if we can get the, their bond as well. Perfect. Do you also have their uh, their bonds as well? No, we only get the oak profit. Okay. Did you know anywhere else I may may I find the bonds at? That I am unsure of. I'm sorry. I can ask if you like me to. Yeah. Yeah, that'll work. Sure. That's fine. I think it's going to be two dollars each. Not bad. They should have the bonds here, correct? Oh, it's in this building. They should have everything. So if they have it all with the office, they should have the bonds. We might need to go to the bond section. There's also the treasury. Um, what else? Is there a treasury? There's the yeah. I mean, this is the government department. So yeah, it's somewhere. It's somewhere in here. It is. We'll find it. We'll ask her. The bond section, the treasury. Department. It just all depends. I found the um, some of the judges' bonds before in the uh, treasury department. I don't know what was in there for. Oh wow. That's. But why? Why the treasury? I don't know. <laughs> That's just where it was. Uh, well, no. I guess it makes sense. It's a bond. Treasury it has to do with money. A treasury bond. <laughs> no. Yeah. It, so does it, that, that makes sense to me? Treasury bond. Yeah. Maybe the treasury okay. department. Okay, so um, my supervisor said she's unsure, but she recommended that you go to the manager's office upstairs, mm -hmm. and that they may have a better idea. Okay, uh, is there a treasury department here as well? Yes, treasury is um, the opposite end of the hall. Opposite. Okay, and this is this is going to be four dollars in total. Yes, sir. Yeah, because we were just talking about right I think we may be able to find it at the treasury because it's a bond, so uh, it makes sense. But we'll we'll see. If not, we'll go upstairs. Okay, that works. Do, do, do they sell Do they sell color copies of those, or they're just black and white? Um, that's just that's how okay. I that's fine. Okay. 
Well, it has a seal right there, so it's, it's certified. Right, and then the back is where the certification is because you can't put it on the front. Okay. okay. No, that works. And what name for your recipe? Uh, Frank Ramirez. I'll, I'll get two more copies of each. Two more? Yeah, because we have to file original certified copies. Oh, okay. And then we need one for, for ourselves. Okay, so, you know, yeah, can I get another copy of each? Another copy? Yeah. Another $4. Yeah, that makes sense. We have to have those copies. And then we'll just... File them in and uh, with the rest of the papers. Mm. It's just too bad that we missed it over there, just by like a couple minutes. Mm. Would we be able to find like um, sheriff deputies um, oath of offices here as well? Okay, that's oh, good. That's good to know. Because we got we got the sheriffs, remember? Yeah, we have we got the sheriffs. So we right? have the sheriffs. Okay, that's good. Perfect. What else? What else is here? Is is the mayor's also here too? I'm sorry. Is the mayor's also here too? I can look. We're just I'm curious. Sure the yeah, that's just just that's just completely out of pure curiosity. That would be interesting though. So if it's not here. Is already called the Secretary of State. There's the city clerk's office too. Yeah, I, was say, I would recommend the city clerk right? for him since he's a city yes, right. employee, whereas mm -hmm. these ones are county. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. You're learning, once you start like asking questions about certain departments, you have no idea that there's different departments. And it's like, wow, you don't learn this in school. <laughs> it's so interesting. What time do they close here? Five o'clock. Five o'clock? Okay, sorry. Yeah, we got time. The other one closes early. Yeah, I don't know. Well it's it's the county county courthouse, so I don't know. I don't know, I think four o'clock is early. It's basically cheaper to get it notarized here, huh? And get some things recorded here than going to notary. Um, still, I would I would like to find out if there's a um, republic notary. Republic notary. Yeah, because these are notaries here. Mm -hmm. and there's public notaries. And then there's republic notaries. Yeah, and those those are hard to find. But you've literally found one. Yeah, I found one at the U uh, the UPS store in San Antonio. Wow. I didn't even know there was a difference. I mean, they didn't give me a chance to see whether I was Republic or not. I remember when I, was, <laughs> when I was signing up to be an order? Yeah. It doesn't say. You can change your stamp, though. Yeah, I need to look into it. I haven't activated it yet. All right. There are two copies of each and two receipts. All right. Perfect. Anything All else right. connected? That was That's it. it. Thank you. What was your name? Tyan. Who? Tyan. Tyan? Tyan? Oh, okay. Thank you, Tyan. Appreciate it. Have a, have a beautiful day. Mm -hmm. Where else? Treasury Department. Okay, guys, that was only easy because we actually called ahead of time for these documents. Actually, Frank did. Hey, we're a team, aren't we? Yep. Great. Team America. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Crazy department.
speak to anybody. Hi. Hello, how are you doing? Hello. Uh, wanted to find out if there's a... Do you, can we get access to a judge's bond here, mm -hmm. by any chance? No, um, what, what, what judge is it? Uh, Mary Rosner and... That's at the district... Uh, Lisa court. Schultz. District court? Yeah, on, on Ecancho. What about oh, the yeah, they're, they're already closed right now. The sheriff. Oh, yeah. Uh, the sheriff as well? Or everything the, would be over the there? The sheriff's only open on Wednesdays. Open on Wednesdays. But you guys don't have the bonds here for the sheriff? No. No, okay. No. So check with them or? Yes. Look, or the you're looking for bond information? Or what yeah, for their, for their oath and bond. Excuse me? For their oath, uh, oath of office. We already got the oath of office, but we need, we're needing their bond as well. Oh, so I don't really know what that is, so... Yeah, so the sheriff's office if you want. But they're only open on Wednesdays. Okay, open, only on Wednesdays. Yes, right. Okay. Well, where, where's the bond section around here in the courthouse? Or if there's... there's this is not the courthouse, so we wouldn't have... No, but there's no there's no municipal bonds around here? No. Municipal would be the city, so you probably go to the city. Uh, okay. What about criminal bonds? No. no. Okay. okay. Okay, perfect. Thank, All right. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Hold on. Let's, let's take a tour of this building. Let's see. <laughs> let's, let's find out what's here, you know? Let's see. Let's see what our options are. Well, she did say to go upstairs to, to find more information. Okay. Let's so. see there's a elevator here. What's this? Conference room. Flood commission. Go up the elevator. Mechanical room. All right. Oh, all the nurse personnel. Whoops. <laughs> Just cut to here. We got to go around. That's cool. <laughs> Should we go up the stairs? Yeah, let's go up the stairs. It's always beautiful going up the stairs. You get that on video. Yeah. But I don't want to get this on video. <laughs> yeah, I'm working on it. Let's see. This is your training for the mountain. My training for the mountain. <laughs> Gonna go up the mountain later, guys. Alright, let's see. <laughs> yeah, services. Oh, really? That's a government building? Government room. It's still management, right? Yeah, well, this place is called the Government Center and the Health and Human Resources. Oh, yeah, I guess it would be. Yeah. Health and Human Services. Department. Oh, no, yes. Human Resources, right? That might be one place. Mm. Oh, County Manager. Oh. How nice. Look, I should put one of my things up there. <laughs> Hello, how are you doing? Fantastic. I just wanted to know, uh, to get information, I was trying to find if we can find information on, on bonds for a sher for sheriffs and, and judges. Because I have the oath of office for the judges, mm -hmm. but I'm also trying to look for their bonds as well. For their bonds? Okay, yeah. give me a second, okay? Sure.
It's really simple. <laughs> Straight to the point. Donna Anna, New Mexico. This is a beautiful building. Yeah. We're at the county administration. Well, I guess that's cool. Take one of these. Always love information. Yeah. Well, at least this comes up with those security features. The dip, oh yeah, the stamp or paper stamp, however you want to call it. And yeah, actually, boom, he's right through. That's pretty cool. So this is what you're looking for, right? Too. This is what makes it a true copy of this original instrument filed in compliance with the laws of the state of New Mexico. Amanda Lopez, asking Donna Anna County Clerk and ex official clerk of the Portable Probate Court. Oh, that's interesting. And apparently she was, I think, sworn in on the four 2014. It was filed on December 13, 2014, but it even said that she she started working as a judge and sworn in in 2013. That's kind of weird. So now I guess my question is, I mean, obviously they take an oath of office once unless they get off and come back in, right? Or like every time they come in and both the office, they yes. have to like yes, they have to redo it, it every time. It needs to be up to date. Oh, okay. Let me, know, uh, let me write down exactly what you want. You sure. You want the bonds, right? Yeah, their bond information, like the policy number. Yeah, usually they'll get their oath of office, and the bond actually follows suit afterwards. And for what It's gonna be for Mary Rosner. Okay. Uh, Judge Mary Rosner and also Lisa Claire Schultz. Is that what you have right there? Yes. So okay. this is. Sure. Sure. Right here, so Lisa, Claire Schultz, as well as Mary. Would you like to make copies of that? So you can just like. No, I'll just take it right now. Okay. And I'll give it to them. And what was the other person's name? It should be Mary W. Rosner. Yeah, these are the ones that we specifically need, but usually if we buy one bond, we can get the rest if we need them later. Okay. Give me a second. Sure. Thank you. And go out as, a, as an exhibit and the papers. And it starts getting exciting. <laughs> People, if you're not excited, you should be get excited. You should be excited. Because <laughs> you know where your power stands once you understand where you stand. And what your beliefs are. That's right. Let's see. I like looking around, guys. What does this little sign say? In the Hispanic culture, that's called being a devil. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> no, be a pebble. That's actually the rule. Oh, that's my favorite sentence. <laughs> Six feet rule, stay back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Especially with the cops. And all right. I mean, that's a, that's always a good rule. It's a good rule of thumb, honestly. I mean, after like, learning what I've learned, yeah. Cool. So you're asking for the deputy as well? Like what? What are the like any other deputy? Yeah. No, I know. I know. I know. We can get it here. I just wanted it just to put it to yeah, put it on the video. Sense. Oh yeah, no, that works. So everybody knows that yes, you can go get the deputies also there. And not only that. 
if you usually find one, that's where most of them should be anyways. Yeah. I mean, that's why you ask. Everything with the county will be followed with the county government. Mm -hmm. um, and then the city and the city uh, government and so on and so forth. Right. But but I, but but it's different too with the judges. The judges have to file with the county. They have to do both, right? Because and then they, the secretary of state. That makes sense. They'll be upfront to come and help you with that. Okay, okay. perfect. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. okay, that works. I'm gonna take a walk. Okay. I'm gonna just walk around here. I'll come back to these pictures in a bit. Just want to make sure I catch everything on video. Hi. Bulletin. should have Hi, how are you doing? Hi, good. How's it going? I have a question. I'm no. just looking for the bonds for these two. Yes, yeah, for the judges? Yes. You know, they're not county officials. Really? Right, they are state officials. So that would be municipal or that would actually be up to Secretary of State? Maybe. You know, I, I'm not sure where they post the bonds. Mm -hmm. I know there's a bond for any elected officials. There's a bond. Okay. I think that's what you're looking for. Yes. Right? The elected yes. Are you guys the ones that were asking for the one for the sheriff? Yes. Yes. Okay, and we, we got that to you. I we think, got right. Uh -huh. yes. Yeah, and so, um, so that one the, the sheriff is a county official, and so Correct. we they have to post it, and I think it gets recorded at the clerk's office. I don't know if this one gets recorded at the clerk's, okay. or maybe at the secretary of state, because the the judges are um, mm -hmm. they are state officials. Got you. I think now I did you check with the clerk? We checked downstairs. Uh, they said they don't have the bonds there, but we also called. Uh, I called the Secretary of State, and Excuse she me. Uh, sure. she just mentioned that 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 we may want to check with the clerks at least right. for the open office. But games? for the bond, uh, she says that she, she had nothing on Mary Rosner or Lisa Schultz. Um, or Lisa the Secretary of State. And you might go over to the courthouse and ask them. I'm here for. we have asked them as uh, well. Okay. I'll ask them again. Maybe maybe there's a misunderstanding. So I'll I'll tell them what we're doing and show right. them as well. Right. That now was their oath of office recorded down here? Yes, these okay. are them. These are them. Okay, oh, we just received these. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, and so. I am not sure where their bond gets filed. Um, and, the, and the clerk said they don't have the bond was not recorded with them. As far as they know, they, they don't have that information. Yeah, they told me to check with Treasury. We went with Treasury, and then from there I asked her. She said to come up here just to ask you guys. Maybe, right. maybe a better, are you, are a better you understanding of yes, where, where to okay, Is everything okay? Yes. Oh, okay, yeah. great. Uh, I'm sorry, they distracted uh, me. No worries. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I don't know where their bond gets filed. Um, let me, hold on, give me one second. Oh, yeah, yeah sure. No problem. Okay, yeah, sorry about that. I dialed a lot of 915 numbers. This is some good information. No, she's, he's, uh, he's letting us know that uh, they, they don't have them here, but we may be able to find them. They could be municipal, it, but I've already called the Secretary of State as well. Um, I may have to maybe give Teresa another call again at, at the Secretary of State. And, 
uh, maybe ask her what, what my findings are and see where else she may lead us to it. But yeah, we we got we got two copies. We got the Mary Rosmans and um, Lisa Schultz. So they do have theirs. No, but it's in that year. Yeah, so it was probably. Yeah, whether whether they have it or not, they yeah, there's, there's things that have been committed. Another thing you might look at is contact the administrative office of the courts. They're they're in Santa Fe. Would you happen to have a number for that? For I don't. I, that's why I was asking her oh, if she okay. had it, but. If you go to the you don't mind writing that down for me, just so I don't forget. Right yeah, there's a pin right there. Oh, um, Thank you. If you go to the website, oops, came right. What office are we in right now? Oh, this is the this is the this is the administrative area. This is the county law op manager's office oh, okay. and the administrative office. So what we have here is the okay. county manager. There's that ALC number. Ah, there. Okay. okay. Thank you very much, Miss. Thank you so much. Um, not only so do this too. Okay. And it's the administrative office of the court, AOC or administrative. And they what they do is they're um, the Supreme Court in New Mexico has control over all of the state courts, district court, magistrate court. Okay. Um, and the administrative office of the court handles a lot of their administrative stuff for them. So they're kind of like a, an arm of the Supreme Court. Correct. Okay. Uh, okay. So, um, yeah. So what we've got up here is here's the county manager's office here that we've got our finance department here, our IT department. I'm with legal. I'm stuck in the back over there. <laughs> okay. You know, so this is just this wing down here is just some of the administrative offices for the county. This is interesting because this is the yeah. first time I'm actually like, you know, coming here and actually put it to use. And it's right. just interesting to learn the different. The right. Different we didn't, we didn't learn none of this process in yeah. school. Yeah. And so then we've got across <laughs> the hall there, we've got, we've got the, it's called the Health and Human Services Department. Mm -hmm. And they do a lot of different programs. Um, but they've got, I don't know if you've heard of the DWI compliance. No, it's, it's kind of the, it's kind of like probation office for mm -hmm. misdemeanor DWIs. Okay. Um, we get money, a grant from the state to administer that. Okay. We get we get a grant from the state to administer that, and so they handle that. They're kind of like the probation officers mm -hmm. for DWIs or any misdemeanors. Mm -hmm. And then we've got the uh, human resources department there, and then we've got on that end over there um, is the district attorney's office. Okay. Now they are not the district attorney's office is a state agency. Okay. Mm -hmm. But there's a statute that says the county has to provide them office space. Wow. Oh, so, interesting. Well, they meet that into a law. <laughs> so, I mean, so, is that something that's in like every city or is it just it, in, it, in every county? The, the every statutes county. say that the, the every, the, the, the way that's set up for the courts and the district mm -hmm. attorneys is they've got judicial districts, mm -hmm. okay? We are in the third judicial district exactly. and the third judicial district is made up of Doniana County. Okay. Bernalillo County is the second judicial district and it is just Bernalillo County. Oh. But then you've got other counties, other districts, like mm -hmm. the seventh, mm -hmm. um, it's made up of Sierra County, Catron County, um, Torrance County, and Socorro County. So that one's got four. Oh wow, it was all the way to Socorro. What, what district was that one? Wow. That's the seventh. Okay. Then like wow. there's the six. It's ca it's a uh, Hidalgo County, Luna County, and Grant County. That's awesome. You know them all. <laughs> right. So and so then for each one of those districts, there's a district attorney, okay. as well. But okay. it says then that each county within mm -hmm. that district has to provide space for the court mm -hmm. and for the DA. Okay. So we have. Um, I used to work at the DA's office in the court building over there at the Third Judicial District Court. Mm -hmm. That's a state agency, but that's our building. We own that building. The county does. Oh, wow, that's interesting. But we have but to give providing them the space. Exactly. Providing them their okay. space, right? Okay. And so, um, so each county has to have a space for the court and the DA. Oh, wow. Mm. So the courts, the judicial districts, is it per state? Like, obviously, they have one through whatever. Is it per state, or how? Or each state well, has a different? Well, like, each uh, state's uh, different. Yeah. Each state because it, it's. Uh, then you've got the federal courts. That's a whole other thing. But for the state mm -hmm. courts, New Mexico has their system. You've got Arizona has their system, and you know so New Mexico has 13 judicial districts, okay. and there's 30 and there's 33 counties. So obviously you've got okay. several of those districts have divided like, into those 13. Several, yeah. So several districts have multiple counties. Um, mm. 
Doniana County, like I said, it is mm -hmm. one county for the third. Bernalillo County is the second one. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, the first judicial district is Santa Fe and Rio Arriba counties. So they mm -hmm. just have two. So it depends on population. Okay. Wow. But that's why we, so that's what over there, they are a state agency, mm -hmm. uh, but they're in our building because we have to. And as far as the state courts, some of the municipal courts also, do they deal with state, with state issued? Uh, no. Um, so what you've got in the courts, basically in New Mexico, you've got three three main courts. You've got mm -hmm. the district court, of course, and that's over on Picacho, mm -hmm. and they primarily handle felony, large civil cases, domestic relations, that type family of stuff. Law and all that right, stuff. Family law. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Then okay. you've got the magistrate court, which is also a state agency. Now that gets confusing because if you go over there, it'll say the Doniana County Magistrate Court. Mm -hmm. Doniana County has nothing to do with it other than it's in, but it's a state agency. Mm -hmm. And that building, we don't have to provide them a building. Okay. So the state provides them a building. Okay. And then you've got the municipal court, which is uh, a, a creature of the city. <laughs> that's what that's actually he's, he's right though he, he's right though it actually says that in law yeah, yeah. right so yeah. so the and, and what they can mm -hmm. do they handle um primarily code violations so the whatever's a violation of the las cruces municipal code the policies within right the now a lot of those are the same so if you're speeding down the street in las cruces mm -hmm. they can give you a ticket for violating the municipal code that says don't speed exactly. or they could give you alternatively they could give you a ticket for violating the state statute that says don't speed <laughs> if they do it under the the ordinance you mm -hmm. go to municipal court if they do it under the state statute you go to magistrate court. you so that makes right. a lot of sense right. I, you know i didn't even think about that i didn't know about that right so that it gets a little complicated i appreciate all your help man thank you very much and, and, that's and, very good and, and stuff yeah, um if you can't i i don't know where else to look what if this is I don't have that bond. When you call, when the other day, the sheriff's department called me. And said, These guys are coming here looking for a bond. I said, "Hold on, man. I know where that is. I know who's got it." <laughs> All right. So I we were causing it. up a stir. <laughs> That's it. They didn't like your camera. Yeah, well, like I appreciate it, it though. It's, 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 it's good information. It's for educational purposes, right. not to that I like, intimidate. Really, right. that, trust me. We get people all the time right. that are just like. <laughs> you can't record. Well, this is a public building. We can record. You know, it's, it's under. It's under. If you under the law, you, there's no right. law saying that you can't record. Right. right. Unless you're intimidated, that's a different story. Right. right. So, uh, so the, but he called. I was actually on my on vacation day, and they called. Okay. Me. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we gave you some time, and we came back. But it was a pretty easy one. I mean, I knew um, because that uh -huh. for for the county officials, mm -hmm. my office, uh, the legal department, and the risk mm -hmm. management department. We work with the, the New Mexico Association of Counties mm -hmm. that provides our insurance coverage. And as part of that, they take care of getting that bond, making sure that bond's posted. And so there was somebody in my office had a copy of it. Oh, okay. And so it was pretty easy. And I think she sent it to the sheriff's department and they gave it to you guys. No, 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 we haven't gotten it yet. Well, yeah, so, so no. they probably should have it then. Yeah, we'll go check it out we'll tomorrow because we'll they're out. closed. Oh, no, they said Wednesday. On Wednesday? Only okay, Wednesday. yeah, we, uh, we'll pick it up. Sit, sit down. All right. <laughs> Let me see if she's got it. All right, appreciate okay. it. Oh, yeah, thank you. I had no idea they sent it. Yeah, well, my phone was off during that time when I gave oh, it to them. Oh, they were trying to call you probably. Yeah, they were probably trying to call me. Got you. Yeah, no, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. That, that was a lot of good information. <laughs> yeah. I was Talk like, to that I guy. even surprised. I was like, oh. I mean, we're not lying. It's, it's all educational purposes. BOCC agenda? What's BOCC? Where's that at? At the top folder right here. Where's, where's that paper that I had right now? Oh, I have it right okay, okay. Yeah. Now you can hold, you hold on to it for me. So I can have both hands free. You're just being lazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. Oh, wow. Oh, did, oh, this is what you got? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Cool. That's actually pretty cool. I should go through my emails, too, because I know I left them my emails and my phone number. But they were probably trying to call me. You know, oh, it's wow, easier to cool. call. They got some grants. <laughs> okay. 
That's cool. Got some grant information. Unincorporated areas that live within the municipal uh, municipalities of the city of Las Cruces and then Park Anthony. Oh no, no, this doesn't even count for Santa Teresa. You see? That's because Santa Teresa is its own. It's like a city within its own. But if you're in New Mexico or well, Las Cruces area, then that, that'll be beneficial for anybody there. Sound quality on the phone's a lot better too, huh? Hmm. Yeah. I can. I'm glad he explained everything. Yeah, there was there were some things that I that I wasn't really I didn't know. But a cop or whatever whoever it is can or even a sheriff can depend whether he wanted to charge you for whatever statute you could send you to different courts. I had no idea. It's good to know. That doesn't change the thing with status, but... Okay, here you go. This will save you a trip from one you want to the other if elected okay. business, too. Perfect. <laughs> Here's the bond. It comes from the Hartford Insurance Company. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, that's interesting. And then uh, um, right here... It covers, it goes through January of 2024. Okay. And it covers all of these elected officials. So it covers five county commissioners, the assessor, county clerk, sheriff, treasurer, probate judge, and the flood commissioner. Wow. So awesome. it covers all of the. You know, so now if you need. Well, my, my name is Michael. What's your name? Nelson. <laughs> Nelson, nice to meet you. Right. So, uh, nice to meet you. so when you decide you get back, when you get further down your list and you want the county treasurer. Okay. You got it. All right. <laughs> All right. Thanks, bro. Appreciate uh, hi, it. Is there any way to get this uh, certified? Oh, well, technically, certified. Do we need a certified? That's good, right there. That's good enough. That's good. Okay. I think. Yeah. This is good enough. Thank you, Nelson. Okay. Sure, appreciate it. Get appreciate it. it. Sure thing. Thank you, sir. Right. Okay. Yeah, and then downstairs, you know, you, I think you've been down. You saw the clerk's office and mm -hmm. the treasurer's office is over there. Oh, yeah, and the uh, flood commission. I'm not sure. What, and then that. that yeah. Well, down. What's up with the flood commission? Like, is I've there, never like, seen that before. Like floods happen pretty often. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There's I mean, I know it, rains, it doesn't rain that often, but when it rains, it rains like cats and dogs. Yes. And, and so they've got a couple big flood projects they're working on right now. Mm. We're working on. They're working on one up on the East Mesa, um, where when it rains up there, there's some of those um, housing developments up there, some of those areas up there. They flood. They flood out bad. Wow. And so we've got we've. Um, there's a tax that they get, and then they, we, we, they've gotten money from the state mm -hmm. to do some improvements. And so they're working on building a diversion dam and a, a, a diversion channel. Oh, so wow. when that rain comes off of that mountain, mm -hmm. it'll go into that channel where it needs to go rather than flooding out the neighborhoods. Oh, interesting. And so they have a lot they work on. They're doing on that one. They've got one up by uh, the hatch that they're working on. Mm -hmm. There's some down in... Um, the southern part of the county, down in La Union, they've got some bad flooding problems that they've got. Uh, they're, the, they're the lower end of right, the elevation. Right. Yeah. right, and you know, I, I'll tell people that, yeah, you know, Doniana County, we get you know, 10 inches of rain a year, and nine of those come in 24 hours. <laughs> exactly. Because <laughs> exactly. when it rains, it pours. It pours. Yeah. Right. All right, thank you so much. You have, you have, you have, you have a good day, man. Good God one. bless. Thank you. There's stairs over there, I think. Yeah. <laughs> So the heart prayers, that is interesting. Thank you for the help, miss. Thank you. Oh, she's busy, I think. Yeah, you have a good day. All right, guys. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. There's Frank.